You ever have one of those days where nothing seems to go your way? It's even worse when you're a new kid in town. When my parents and I moved from LA to New York, they said I'd love it here. But it's not a lot of fun when you're in summer school and you're an only child with no friends to hang out with. Hi. Maybe it won't be so bad after all. Can you listen to me? I have to get my keys. Thanks. I mean, I live on the ninth floor. You know, I think I saw you in my summer school class today. I'm going mostly for music because I'm getting straight A's except for an English and math. Which uh, now I'm in the chorus too, but the teacher says I sing too loud. She keeps moving me to the back of the class, so I just think even louder. But anyway, this is my floor. See you later. Bye. Uh, Mac Daddy, I ain't. Uh, hi, I'm Bobby. <laughs> hey, Dad. I'm home. Hey, son, how was your... You look like you just met a beautiful girl in the elevator and you couldn't work up the nerve to say anything to her. <laughs> okay. How about I make one of my all-purpose, world-famous, feel-good sandwiches and you can tell me how the rest of your day went. Hmm? Come on. Come on. So? Well, I got up at 8 a.m. and spent four hours in summer school. What's not to like? Well, if you'd done your algebra homework back in L.A., you wouldn't have to go to summer school. Yeah, I know, but the worst part is, now this cousin Skeeter's moving here to tutor me all summer. Well, if you had done your algebra homework back in L.A., you wouldn't have to be tutored. Come on, Dad. <laughs> I'm talking about Skeeter. He'll probably be a computer nerd, and I don't need cousin Brainiac embarrassing me. Well, I have to admit, your mother's side of the family is a little different. <laughs> go Skeeters, go Skeeters, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. I want to rock right now. I want to rock right now. Mm. What's up? I'm Skeeter, Gemini. I tell you what a superstar I am, but uh, my friend Michael Jordan told me never to drop names. First class is the ball. You know I'm such a VIP, they usually let me fly the plane. What if he's messy? Or slob? What if he doesn't shower? Son, you gotta stop worrying about other people's personal grooming habits. But I'm gonna be living with him. What if he's totally out of control? What was that commotion back there? You got me, Captain Crunch. <laughs> this is your pilot, Skeeter. Speak it! Please fasten your seatbelts. We may be experiencing a little turbulence. Don't trip! I'm sure everything will be fine. But Dad, what do we really know about this Skeeter guy? I've never seen him, have you? Well, no, but he is your cousin, and he deserves a chance. I guess. And be understanding. I'm sure he's got his own way of doing things. Tax! Taxi! Taxi! Please! Do you see me? I'm a little brother trying to come up. Taxi! Oh. oh. You all right? Yeah, now get my bag. And I'm going to 80th and West End. And don't take the scenic route. Off of that coffee table. 
And your cousin Skeeter will be here any minute. Yay. Bobby, I want you to be nice to your cousin. And you should be happy that you have someone to keep you company while your dad and I are out tonight. Where are you going? Your dad's taking me out for a night on the town. Trying to butter me up. He still thinks he can talk me into getting a dog. What's wrong with that? Nothing. But until he agrees to feed it, wash it, clean up after it, take it for walks every day in the snow, keep it away from my furniture 24-7, Daddy's out of luck. Uh-uh, no, 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 baby. Not until Skeeter arrives. Hi, honey. Babaloo, Babaloo. Home at last, home at last. Skeeter! Mm. Wow. wow, look how much you've grown. You used to be shorter? Shh. Very sensitive about his height. Aunt Vanessa, you're more beautiful than ever. And your home is simply swelling it. Andre, honey, go get the camera. We need to take some pictures. And Skeeter, you must be thirsty. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go and get you some lemonade. Oh, yeah. Hey, get me some too, will you, lady? <laughs> whoa! 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 Oh, yo, Pillsbury Doughboy, be careful. I got my turntables and a case of hot sauce in there. Yeah, yeah, listen, I gotta get back downstairs. Where's my tip? Tip? Hmm, here's a tip. Do a sit-up once in a while. You look like you're gonna have twins. One minute he's Dr. Jekyll, next Mr. High. Bobby, what's buzzing, cousin? Yo, I think your doorman should run for president of the hair club for men. That's it. I'm out of here. Don't be so sensitive. Man, you'd think a short, fat, bald guy would have a sense of humor. Now just, uh, chill out and stay for a photo. Okay, I have lemonade for everyone. Woo! I hope that lemonade is as sweet as you, Aunt Vanessa. But I know that's impossible. And right back to Dr. Jekyll. Oh, Steve, you are so nice. You should give my husband some lessons. Okay, gather around. I'll take a picture. All right. Come on, Bobby, come on, baby, come on, right come on, come on, come on, come on. And... Mwah. My life. Don't let him bother you. He's just grumpy. Okay, okay. Now, I told your mother that I would call when you got here, so you boys gonna get settled. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, sweetie. Mm-hmm. Bobby, why don't you help me carry Skeeter's stuff to your room? Uh, can I get a cookie first? Shh. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, cousin, just keeping it real. Are you going to help me with my algebra homework or not? Hey, Bobby, you got some guacamole because these chips are kind of dry. Don't they have napkins where you come from? Who needs napkins? Hey, Bobby. Look who's here. Oh. I guess you met Nina in the elevator, but I wanted her to meet your cousin. Where is Skeeter? Oh, he's around. He's just kicking it. Okay. Kids have fun. So, you come here often? To your kitchen? Uh. Whoa! What's up? Um, uh, mm, this is my cousin Skeeter. Hi. Quick, somebody call heaven. There's an angel loose here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh. Yeah, you're okay, but you have a dustpan stuck to the side of your head. Oh, yeah, I'm full of problems. So anyway, you guys want to go to the store? I need to buy some dish soap, some chocolate green bread, a soft bristle toothbrush, some calcium enriched orange juice, not some concentrate, 12-hour nasal spray. You know, I tried this eight-hour spray, but it only lasted for six hours. Asparagus, frozen waffles. Yo, time out. Just save it for the grocery clerk. So are we going to what? Although I do enjoy waffles, I can't go to the store right now because it's kind of embarrassing, but... I have to work my algebra home. Well, well, what he means is he's helping me with my algebra. Right, Bobby? Um, yeah, it's okay. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> Bobby's tutoring me on my math. Well, I think that's really cool. You do? Yeah, hey, if you can't count, then they can teach you. Okay? <laughs> you go, girl. Now, uh, we can do my homework later. Let's check out the neighborhood. Most deaf. Um, yeah. Most stuff. Yo, this is so cool that we 
we all going to the same summer school, and when I graduate, I will learn the music business because I want to have my own record label. You know, and I could be a singer just like Janet, or Mariah, or Brandy, or Lannis, or... We get it. But yo, check it. You're in luck. Bobby just moved here from Hollywood. Well, Englewood, actually. Don't be shy, kid. He was running it back in Cali. His dad's a big shot record executive. Wow! Yo, I want you to tell me everything you know about L.A. Have you ever met Brandy? No. But once I met Whitney Houston's wig maker, that's almost the same thing. Yo, we should all go out tonight and get our groove on. Well, I can't. I already got plans with this cheese ball guy named Vinny. But he's taking me to the MC Light concert, which you know, of course, the tickets are sold out. And then the Uptown Cafe is having this big after party for my school, because that semester Wait week. a minute! MC Lights in town? That's my girl. That's my homie. Stop lying. You don't know her. Girl, not only do we both know her, but I actually saved her life. You see, I'm a black belt. Yeah. So when you guys are going to be there tonight? Be there? We're already on the guest list. Wow. Do you guys think that you could get me an autograph picture? Sure, I'll make sure Bobby gets one for you. You hook up Nina, right, Bobby? Uh, um, yeah, I, I guess. Thanks, then I'll see you guys tonight. I gotta be good dress. Help a brother out. I'm expecting the two of you to behave like adults. Don't just turn the TV on the moment we leave. Don't worry, Uncle Andre. Skeeter's rule is no television until all homework is finished. That's a good rule, Skeeter. Bobby, you should be more like your cousin. And Bobby, Skeeter's your guest, so he's your responsibility. We'll be back at 11, and I expect you both to be asleep. Oh, okay. Okay. Surprise! Oh, Andre, you are my husband, and I love you! <laughs> <laughs> but in case you didn't hear me the first 236 times, I don't want to get a dog. <laughs> don't give up, Dad. Bye, Uncle Andre. I thought you said no TV until the homework was done. All the homework is done. Here. How'd you do this so fast? You must really be a math genius. Hmm. I'm a genius, all right. I'm a genius of love. Mm-hmm. But algebra is a matter of considering the variables, temporary elements of the equation. Now, come on. We're going to be late for the concert. Just let me find my hat. Now, see, I got my shoes in here. Now, now, you not throw clothes on the floor. I'm not going to the concert. You're right. The concert's already started, but we'll be right on time for the after party. Now, where's my hat? I told my... I'm not going to the after party either. I'm going to stay here and do my own work. Now, quit making a mess. Okay. I can see why you're mad that I finished all your homework for you. And I promise tomorrow we'll go over every equation. But it's my first night in New York and I'm ready to get my freak on. Forget about getting your freak on. You've already caused enough trouble. Now, Nina, the only nice girl I've met is going to think I'm a liar and a total loser, all thanks to you. <laughs> you're right. I messed up everything again. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to but everywhere I go, it's the same thing. I'm not like everybody else. I'm short! I just wanted you to like me. I never had a best friend before, and I thought since you were family, things would be different. But no. No! Okay, 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 okay. Stop crying. You, you're sorry? Yes, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Hey, there's my hat. Now let's go to the party! Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's party time. Whoa! Oh! oh! My hat! Get me out of here! We got a party to go to! Come on, man! I can't believe I let Skeeter talk me into sneaking out of the house to crash a party. What are we doing back here? I thought you said we'd be on the guest list. The line out front's too long. Look, don't worry. I've done this a million times back in Atlanta. It's all good, see? Just throw me over the fence. Okay. 
on three. One, two, three! Works every time. You got some glass on your head. Whatever. Hey! hey come back here! Oh, this is so romantic. Last time we went dancing like this, you were pop locking with Shabadoo. Hey, don't knock Shabadoo. Nobody can electric boogaloo like Shabadoo. <laughs> Now, see, we could do this kind of stuff more often if we had a dog at home to watch over the kids. Don't you even try it. Bobby doesn't need a dog to look after him, and I know Skeeter's gonna be a good influence on him. Ain't nothing like a good party, Bobby. Look at that. Now, that's a girl I should be tutoring. Oh, wow. Woo! Yo, Bobby, this party is the bomb, man. Why did I ever let you talk me into this, please? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Bobby, you go find Nina, and I'm gonna go find MC Light. Will you let it go, face it? You don't know MC Light. Sure I do. I met her back when I was the hottest DJ in Atlanta. You were the hottest DJ in Atlanta. What is this, a pop quiz? Now go and handle your business. What's wrong with that boy? because you've been running through my dreams all night. <laughs> You're kind of cute. What's your name? The name Skeeter. That's S-K. Eater. Feel free to wear it out. Okay. And I'm Tisha. That's T. Sha. Here's my cell number. Hit me on the hip. And in the meantime, Stay beautiful. Whoa! My hat! Hey, Nina, I made it. Hey, Nina. Sup? Hey, Nina. How's it been? Hey. Hey, Bobby, you made it. I'm really bad for a second there. I thought your cousin was all talk. No, he's much, much more. Well, don't forget, you promised me an autograph picture by MC Light. I'll try, but the truth is, oh, we don't like him. Come dance with me. Oh, what happened to Vinny with cheese head? That's a cheese ball. And well, frankly, once the concert was over, so were my feelings for Vinny. So can I catch a ride home with you guys? Uh, cool. <laughs> oh, I hope Bobby likes New York. And he makes lots of new friends. You know, they say a dog is a man's best friend. <laughs> And I know that Skater's gonna be Bobby's new best friend. Well, a dog will teach them responsibility. Oh, those boys don't need to learn responsibility. Just think. Right now, they're at home doing their schoolwork. They'll never get into trouble. <laughs> If you don't have a ticket, I'm throwing you out. Okay, okay. Just put him down. If you don't let me go, I'm gonna go psycho on you. One, two, three. All right, that's it. Now I'm mad. Wait a minute. I thought you guys were on the guest list. I'm sorry, Nina, but the truth is... We hey, don't... hey, hey. What's this about? MC Light. Put him down, officer. Wait a minute, do you know this kid? Do I know him? This man saved my life. How you doing, Skeeter? Chilling like a villain, Bob Dylan, but yo, 5-0 is illin'. Yo, MC Light, you know Bobby and his friend, Nina. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Nina. Any friend of Bobby's is a friend of mine, right? She touched my hand. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Sorry about the misunderstanding, Munchkin. 
munchkin. That's it. I'm about to go Hong Kong fooey on you. Don't go there, Speedy. It's not worth it, man. I'm cool. You lucky I'm in a peaceful place. Now get out of my space. Yo, Light, why don't you drop a single? Well, Skeeter, you're the man. Why don't you drop one? Well, okay. When I say Skeeter, you say party. Skeeter! Skeeter! To the fellas, rock the Skeeter party. Oh, yeah. To the ladies, rock the Skeeter party. Oh, yeah. When I say Skeeter, you say party. Skeeter! Skeeter! I say, oh. My parents are going to be back any second. They catch us, we're dead. Don't worry. We're only a few blocks away. Nothing can stop us now. Hmm? <laughs> we're dead. Are they sleeping? Shh. Oh, they're so cute. They look like two little angels. Yeah, you're right. Wouldn't it be even nicer if there was a little old shaggy dog sleeping on the floor? Let me think. No. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Lucky that cop believed that you were friends with the mayor. The mayor is my boy. I actually saved his life. Well, tonight, you nearly cost me mine. You worry too much, little man. I never get us caught up in anything dangerous. At least I never let us get caught and admit it. We had fun tonight. Yeah, I guess I had a pretty good time. Mm. It's too bad Nan didn't get that autograph photo of MC Light, though. Don't sleep on my scales. You got one? Yo, she's gonna love you for that. Me? She's gonna love you for that. I got it for you to give to her. Are you serious? Word is born. You're my boy, my dog. You're my ace in the place in the whole human race. Thanks, Skeeter. I really mean it. You're all right. I thought you knew. Now go and get a late pass. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I guess everything worked out after all. I just hope from now on, Skeeter will calm down just a little bit. Hmm? Hello? Tisha? What's happening, girl? What? You playing video games with Cindy Crawford? Whoa! You got it. Me and my cousin will be right over. Friends, we've reached the end of another evening in the Niccolo Zone. And speaking of endings, I'm reminded of my favorite author, O. Henry. He was famous for writing surprise endings on all of his stories. And speaking of surprises, I'm reminded of my favorite singer, Yoko Ono. She was famous for singing in a surprising way that disturbed a lot of people. And speaking of music, I'm reminded of my favorite musical, Oklahoma. Oh, I could go on like this for hours. But unfortunately, it's time for me to knock off. But not for you. Oh, no. You stay put. You'll get to see the Brady Bunch. I'm not sure if the Brady men have their hair permed okay. for this next episode or not. Okay. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> I'm on pins and needles. <laughs>